Hello, I would like to show you the Mauricer pa R package. And the goal of Mauricer is to install these two packages from R. Mauricer is part of Babette. And Babette, she's a package suite to do a full Beast 2 workflow. And one of the things that you can do in Beast is install packages. So what I'll be doing in this video, I will show you how to install a package without using Mauricer, like the normal uh, workflow. And then I will show you how to do exactly the same in Mauricer. Right. So in Beast 2, uh, to install a, a Beast 2 package, you use Beauty. And uh, so it's it's a part of the Beast 2 suite. You just go to File, Manage Packages, and here you see a list. So I can't make this bigger, uh, so don't blame me if you can't read it. But um, this shows us a list of packages that with their names, if they're installed, yes or no, their latest version, etc. So I, let's take a look at Bacter. So that's the second package. It's not installed yet because this cell is empty and the latest, latest version is 2.2.0. Well, it's very easy to install. You just click on install and then um, the package manager will install it. It says, yeah, that worked. And when I'm done, I'm going to uninstall it as well. So this is very easy, but perhaps you want to automate this and only use R and whatever. So this is where more resource comes in. So I'll be closing beauty now. And I'll just go to the Mauricio R package. And there's one vignette called Demo. And I'm going to knit it like a convert to a document here live. So that you can see that it works now on my computer. And this demo will do exactly the same as I just showed you. So of course you need to load Mauricio and we're going to use test that to check if what I'm what I've claimed to happen is true. So the first function we'll use is Mauricer list. It returns a data frame with all the Beast 2 packages. And of these packages, I'm going to take the top couple of them and display them as a table, which we see here. So here we see a similarish uh, data frame table as we've just seen. And we see that Bacter is not installed on my computer now. So what I'll be doing in this uh, vignette, I will find a package that's not installed, which is just, uh, it's called first absent package name. It goes through the data frame, it looks for uh, an installed version of NA, which the first one will be back there. And uh, from that row we take the name and then we're there. So the first absent package name will be back there. Well, let's check just for sure uh, Maurice is installed. Let, if it's installed, it should not be installed. So Maurice is installed of that package name Bacter should be return false. And indeed it does. So that's great. To install it, that's easy. You just use Maurice install and then that package name Bacter. If you now go through that list, so I'm, go I'm going to do this MRC list again because now the list has updated, it has changed. Then there will be a new first absent package name. It uses exactly the same uh, query as I just did. And we expect this new first absent package name to be different than our first absent package name. Because first it was back there, now it's something else. I don't know what this something else is. We can take a look up. So I predict that would be bad trip, whatever that is. Right, so we've um, we, this proves that we've installed um, that we've installed it because it's, it doesn't show up in the list as an A anymore. So we're going to uninstall it as well. Here we install MRC, Maurice uninstall Bacter, and then it's absent in the list. Here we do it, if refresh the list again. We look for a package that has an A in the installed version, and we expect that Bacter, like this is Bacter, that the first. The, again, the first absent package name is Bacter again. So this shows you uh, how to look for packages using MRC list, how to install a package using Maurice for install, and uninstalling a package using Maurice for uninstall. And if you're curious, you can also use MRC Maurice is installed just.
Right, so this is my video about Moriser, and I hope I wish you uh, to have fun with uh, yeah him. All right, uh, enjoy your day.